Hello and welcome to episode 28 of the Long Distance Stitchers. My name is Megan. I am also Megan. And this is our channel about cross stitching. And I think some knitting today. You finished something. Crochet. Crocheting. They're different. Crocheting and knitting are different. Yeah. Um, yeah. Quite a bit of cross stitching though. I think I worked on fewer separate projects than last month, which was probably mm. the best, but we'll see. You got more progress. Maybe. Theoretically. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where March um, went. I, in a blur. It was an I mean, extra hectic month than expected. So Yeah. I was away for like two weeks, so yeah. I didn't do much in those two weeks. It's very sunny out today so I'm which sucks because I love natural lighting but then it's not very good for filming it's really annoying right it's sunny here too but I am in my windowless basement <laughs> just me and the ring light and boss is behind me you can see his little black bump oh all right. Do you want to show your finishes first? Sure. Sure. Thank you for inviting me. So a few finishes. I have not blocked this yet, but I finished the Stargazer shawl. So I'm just trying to figure out which side is the right side. This side. Um, which is a pattern by AK Lori Designs. Um, it's Tunisian crochet. I love it. Yeah. I love the colors um of course i didn't bring my tag with the yarn information i always forget what the company is called they're from estonia if you're a yarn person you probably recognize it they're very well known mm -hmm. for in particular this rainbow fade but it's beautiful but i have to block it and it's gonna become like twice as big when i block it it's so stretchy um and then it's wonderful this might just go live in my office because it will be like it's light enough that it won't be too much, but it'll probably be good for the season mm -hmm. of air conditioning, which is upon us. Yeah. So, I and it'll know. go with everything because there's all well, the colors. Yeah. You can't not match this. Yeah. Yes. Even if it didn't, I would still wear it. Yeah. No, there's a lot. There's a lot of a lot of fabric there it was a lot of fun to make if you are a yarn person and you have not Tunisian crocheted I highly recommend because it is fantastic okay in the realm of fully finished objects I have three um I'm going to show you one that I don't physically have here with me because it was for the sassy snarky swap that link uh is my homeboy, Heather, organized. And my recipient, who I don't believe watches this, um, we are not mutuals on the Instagram, um, but one of the things that they said that they liked was our flag means death, and I ran with it. Um, and I got two separate patterns off of Etsy, one with Blackbeard and Steve Bonnet, and then one that is the, you can go suck eggs in hell. Um, which you know is the start of their love story. So I leaned into that and this is just in a little wooden tray, which um, I noticed after the fact, my thing was a smidge too big. So that was actually corrected. But then did I take another photo of it when it was fixed? Absolutely not, but it's fine. It's nice for the person, but I love it so much. Um, it's one of those ones where you're like, do I have to give it away? But yes, I do because the whole point of stitching it was to make it for somebody else. So it is on its way and hopefully they love it as much as I do. I mean, how can you not? How can you not? I already love it. Right? And then this was a finish just in time for our last floss tube, but now it is an FFO. Um, and it's a little, a little wonky because, well, it doesn't matter why it's a little wonky. Um, but I think it's perfect and it is going to hang in my office behind me whilst I am on Zoom. <laughs> Eat it. 
yeah now behind me there is a print that says there's nothing simply so much worth doing as messing around on boats or whatever the phrasing is from wind in the willows but i will replace it with this because i love it and if you recall i had a companion piece but i whipped that one out and finished it and it's ffo now um so this is oh. sorry this is the darwin sampler by hannah stitching um and it says but i am very poorly today i'm very stupid and hate everybody and everything because you know there's nothing like an over food am i right um, probably you know quite middle-aged man at the time that he was writing this um but yeah so that and then uh hannah stitching also has this pattern which is called inordinate oh, fondness um, which is based on a quote that um, nobody's quite sure if anybody ever really said it or if it's just been like attributed to people. And I've got down here, but you probably won't be able to read it on screen, but the creator has an inordinate fondness for stars and beetles or some variation of that, um, which has been attributed to a bunch of different people. Um, but uh, so on the basis of, right? Like the beetles are the most populous animal type on earth and so there's a whole bunch of different beetles on here this quaker had a flower in it and i didn't want to have this without the quote on it so i replaced it with the quote nice. uh, this was from my kit it up swap kit from michelle chinook crafter she dyed the fabric herself and then got me a bunch Excellent. of different kinds of flosses and i just chose the colors with my heart and it turned out beautifully um Michelle thought she was dying me a 14 count, but it's an 11 count. Um, so it's huge, oh, it's a big one. But I love it because look yeah. how dramatic it is. So yeah, it's great. It's so good. Yeah. So those are some FFOs. And then I have what is it? One, two, three, four, five other finishes that are not FFO. So first of all, just because it's also a picture, I finished my quarter of my pattern for the second most magnificent ink circles round robin which is our lord of the rings themed uh ink circles round robin being hosted by julia um jewels what what is their instagram jewelicious delicious thank you it's like j j zero zero yeah yeah no yeah but so Julia is our fearless leader this year. They took over from Michelle, who hosted the first most magnificent ink circles round robin. I am on team Rohan. Um, and so I am partnered up with Trina, Pam, and Rob. And so I send to Pam, and this is on its way to Pam, but this is Reflections of Ireland. It's on a 36 count Fortnite fabric, which it has a name, but I don't know what it is. Um, and I'm using a hand dye by Rolanda floss in green, um, one thread over two threads of linen. Um, and I think it looks great. And when I see it again in, you know, a little less than 12 months time, it will be finished. And I will have only had to stitch this quarter of it. So these round robins are fantastic. Yeah. And then speaking of round robins, I also have finished my, and I don't know where my board is. One of those days. But I have finished my portion of the Carolyn Manning round robin that I'm doing with my group from last year's Ink Circles round robin, so Team 14 Count, with Danielle, um, Michelle, Thames, Mama, and uh, Mandy, who's the TV. Uh, and so this is Pumpkin Patch by Carolyn Manning. And I have, um, it's all DMC. And so I've done my quarter. Uh, pumpkin patch comes with four charts which are all a variation um, of the tent maker pattern that carolyn manning has um this is the same 14 count stony creek fabric that i used for my round robin last year um my ink circles one and so i really love it and it turned out really great and i enjoyed stitching it more than i thought i would because i'm not like a super big fan of full coverage but it didn't really feel like full coverage stitching which is good because you know I have three more to work on this year from my partners um and then I bought myself another pattern when I bought that one because they were on sale um so yeah it'll be 
it'll be fun to to do some more and then see if I want to dive into a full full pattern because it's also like this is one quarter of 85 by 85. The full pattern is thus 16 times more stitching than this. So do I like this 16 times as much? We'll see. And you can't break that one down like it's the whole thing. So. Yeah, it either is the whole thing or it's, yeah. 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 Um, I also, my friend Megan, I don't know if you know her, but she's great. She went on this cruise and she sent me one of the cruise charts as well as fabric and floss to stitch it for the Quirky Quaker Ray. I busted out and then I wasn't sure if I'd have quite enough. The fish should be in this blue too, quite enough of it, but I had this other bluey green color. So I just did the fish in another color. I love it. The chart comes with floss tube at sea on it, but I did not floss tube at sea. So I just did the Ray. I have enough room for another Quirky Quaker on the other part of the fabric. Uh, yeah, we're twins now. Twins. Twins. And uh, the fabric, I'm not. Sure it's Meyer on. by Picture This Plus. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was a Picture This Plus, but. And then the two, the two called for colors are from Brendan Needle. And then. Brendan Needle, Old Hag, and Wreck House. Great. And I honestly could not tell you what that other one is. It was something that was in my bag. I'd have to dig it all out and find it, so. It was fun to stitch, as all quirky quakers are. And I believe Deanna's releasing that one to the general public like relatively soon. Yeah. So. She said April or something. Yeah. And then a bunch of us uh threw Michelle Bendy a little birthday surprise by uh posting about starting or working on our Michelle Bendy whips. So I started her pattern from the bird box this year, which is Worthy Bird. It says I am the measure of my worth, and I say I am worthy. So this is on, this one is Thrive, I believe. Yeah, Thrive, uh, 40 count Thrive, hand dyed by Jesse Atmosley Pages for the bird box. And then all the flosses are the called for dinky dyes. And this was fun to stitch. I did it in like three days, slipped it out. It's beautiful. Good. Now I need really? to do something with it um, at some point, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And it's always fun to surprise friends in a good way with an outpouring of love so um and then my last finish which is a finish for now um but every month is a finish in my opinion is on uh, my stitch for pride sampler oh i don't even know where that came from um so we had january which is keith herring february which is kahindi wiley and then march which is stephanie uh shy who is um she does ceramic, right? Like she yeah. okay. does things in ceramics, mm -hmm. um, like pop culture, food, uh, diasporic related artwork. Um, and so Dee's take on this was to do up a sriracha bottle. It's got little bits of floss everywhere, um, which I love so much. Uh, so this is on Determination, which is another hand-dyed fabric from Jesse at Mislaid Pages. It's the called for Fabric 4, the Stitch for Pride uh, 2024 uh, patterns. And then the flosses are all from Knitting Nurse Jasmine, um, who did up a floss pack that went really fast. So I'm very sorry to everybody who did not get the flosses because they are great. Um, and so the... The full sriracha bottle is supposed to be monochromatic, but I took some of the leftover from February and gave it a green lid um, in true sriracha bottle, the original cock sauce uh, bottle fashion. So yeah, I love it. And I'm going to, I have a friend who um, has a bunch of sriracha paraphernalia. Oh, really? So I'm going to stitch the bottle for her birthday. But oh. I have gotten pearl cotton and I'm going to do it on 11 count Ada so that it's big. big. Yeah. That'll be cool. A stand up of some sort, right? Or you could stuff it. Yeah, that's what I mean, right? Like, so that it will stand stuffed. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll be stitching that one again, which there's a lot of stitches in there. I bought two skeins of the pearl cotton, but we'll see. I might need to find more. But luckily, it is just DMC just it is dmc so i can just go to michael's and buy more if i need it so that is all my finishes and ffos for the month of march which 
when you put it all together like that feels like a lot more than it did day after day so and a, like some pretty sizable pieces so good job yeah right like that inordinate fondness that was not even started that was a start and finish in like a week and I traveled for part of that week and I did not take it with me when I traveled I like busted that thing out yeah good job. to the detriment of other things but it's fine everyone's still alive um I also finished my ink circles around robin quarter um my oh, pretty is already on its way to Cindy in, I don't know, an American place. All my partners are in America. I can't remember where. Um, but yeah, so I'll be paying through the nose for shipping. That's fine. Um, I mean, they have to ship to me too. So uh, yeah, so this is Elegant Squid from Ink Circles. The squid is in a variegated Cosmo it's kind of a purpley color. And then the filigree around the outside is in Threadworks. I believe it's called Sea Treasures, which is kind of perfect. Um, and then I did this part in between all his little tentacles in another very, in another just solid Cosmo. And then I sent more solid Cosmo options so that people could pick which one they want to stitch um, a different part in and then it's theirs to keep so that it's always like a different That's one fun. yeah and then they get a little cosmos game and i barely like i pulled off like one strand oh, i pulled off like one strand um to stitch the the little bit there and it was like perfect like i didn't even need to yeah, cut so another a basic piece, so. gain a cosmos like the whole thing but yeah this was really fun to stitch i started this in january on the cruise um, and I finished it like a week ago. So <laughs> it took me like something like 14 hours to stitch all this, which seemed, seems like a lot, but it was also like A, it was on a paper pattern, which I'm not used to because I actually have to like, like I can't just like zoom in on it. Um, and also those, all those lines where I'm like awesome. making sure that they are not it's not yeah like because you have to be so precise so yeah it was, but I'm glad I only had to stitch one quarter of it and then I think the other ones that we're stitching in my group are there's one the flower the flower one the wild wildflowers and damsel and then I can't remember what the other person has but I'm I know at... there's a forest path in mine, but I don't actually remember off the top of my head what the other two are, but they're, they're all four different. So yeah, we're doing four different ones too. I can't remember the other one. That was my, that was one finish for now. And then when I was away, I did finish my, I started and finished my first quirky Quaker. So this is, oh, there he is. This is the sloth. And I stitched him with, genius. there we go. I stitched him with, um, this is Leo and Roxy Jade, the green. The gray is um, Gentle Arts, whatever. It was something, Barn Owl or something like that, that I used for my raccoon. And then the brown is just like a DMC like 898 or something and then his face was like 3865 because um, like he is so cute because it was originally stitched on like a white fabric but then in the instructions she was like if you stitch it on a different color you can make his face white so cute hanging out there's a lot of stitches in this outside <laughs> that's a pretty chunk border that's Sorry. a chunky sloth so I stitched this almost entirely while I, actually, no, entirely while I was in Ireland, because I finished it on the bus. It's back to us. Oh, wait. And then when I got home, and I started my flamingo when I was away, but I finished it when I got home. And so this is Quirky Baker Flamingo. And the dark pink and the pinky orange color are both Leo and Roxy. And then the variegated white pink is a Brennan Needle. Perfect. I think it turned out so good. I love these colors. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I have room for two, two more. more. Yeah. So I might not even cut up that piece of fabric yet because. No, it'll be easier to work on while it's still big. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. 
Those were all my finishes, though. That's fantastic. So I'm caught up on my whip goes, my quirky quakers. I um, if you don't haven't noticed, I kind of abandoned my whip go already. So I did January, and then that's it. That's fine. You can do whatever you want. I know I can do whatever I want. It was supposed to motivate me to do more of the things that I already own. <laughs> oh, I see. But that's it. It's fine. <laughs> They'll get stitched when they get stitched. Yep. Patterns uh, don't go bad. No, they don't. They keep forever. And sometimes you just stitch on one for like a little while and then you're like, you know what? My time with this pattern has ended. It's and true. I will pass it along to the next the next part of its journey. Yep. And that's also fine. It's totally valid. Mm -hmm. Did, did you start, start anything? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I started two things. How many things did you start? Um, I just have one that I didn't finish, right? So like one, two, three, four of the things that I showed were starts and finishes this month. All okay. right. I'll show my two starts and then you can show your one start and your whips then. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds perfect. And we have a start in common, right? So. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. Do I even have that on here? That's the question. Do you have it ready to bring up files? I did not, but I can probably do it pretty quick here. Uh, please okay. help, folks. In the meantime, I'll talk about Pirate Quaker. So Pirate Quaker, Pirate Quaker by Bendy Stitchy. Um, my friend and yours, Michelle, designed this for the pirate box for this Starlight Stitchery, I believe. And that is the one thing that I'm like, I regret not buying this box. I should have got it. I should have just got it. I probably, you know, whatever. It's just money. Who cares? I can make more. Um, but so as soon as I saw this pattern, I was like, the day it comes out, I will own this pattern and I will stitch it. <laughs> and I pretty much held true to that. So she released it at market and I did a market order from my my semi-local needle online needle workshop um kim at designs and i started it like that day as soon as it arrived as and I, have, I have my little ship and i have my yoho and i have my little skull so good and that fabric is perfect yeah so this fabric is called coffee stain and it is a 14 count and i got it from kaylee it was um I think it was just like a little bonus that she threw in my one of my orders because she's amazing. Sometimes there's just little surprises in there. Yeah, yeah you just open it. You go, oh wow, okay. She was like, I hope you can find something to stitch on it, and I was like, yeah, I will definitely find something to stitch on it. Don't you, don't you worry about that. So, and I still have like half. It's only like half of this piece. So I might stitch something else, piratey on the other side. And I have a combination of the two called for. So you can do it in cottage garden threads or you can do it in sulkies and you can obviously also do it in DMC. So I have four of the five cottage garden threads and I have one of the sulkies. So it worked out. I will be getting my copy of that in a few weeks in Brampton for Stitch North. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to think of the word Brampton, but it did. That's my, <laughs> that's my cognitive delay right now. Um, but so I am going to start it probably immediately on receiving it. Yeah, you'll have to bring fabric with you or buy something. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I have an appropriate fabric, and if I do not, then I will have to peruse the wares. Unfortunately, <laughs> it is what it is. You. Um, yeah, I'm going to work on, I'm going to keep working on this a little bit. I'm going to leave it in the frame for a while. It's fun to just like get out and like do a little bit on. Um, but I'm, I think I'm going to bring it to Stitch North because I think it would be good table stitching since it's 14 count and there's only a few colors and yeah. And then my other I start. I finish an individual Quaker motif on those types of ones too, right? So. Exactly. And then I can reward myself with a shopping trip. Uh, <laughs> this is the start of my beautiful biomes. Beautiful biomes is by Christy at Pixel Pixie, and 
and I'm doing mine on, this is a 32 count linen. It is unnamed. It is also by Kaylee at the sewing shop and it was one of my buy one get ones that I got from her for, at Christmas time. And it's this beautiful. It rich... looks really similar to the fabric that I have for my Caterpillar Lab. Was, the, yeah. There's also one called, made, so. yeah. There's also one called Emerald Forest that I had been eyeing for a while and I never just like pulled the trigger on buying it. So I kind of, this is very similar to that, I think as well. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. And I'm stitching this with a combination of just random beautiful flosses that I love. I'm doing the border in a Threadworks, like I think it's called like chocolate, milk chocolate or something like that. It's like a light brown. Perfect. But yeah, so I've got like 20 yards of that. So that'll, that'll go pretty far. Um, And this is gonna be one of my um, whip goes for April because one of my calls for this month was newest, whatever the newest whip was. And this was my last start, so. There you go. You can get some good work done on that border. In 10 hours. So speaking of beautiful biomes, and again, I don't know. I don't know what I did with my board. It used to exist. I also started beautiful biomes. Um I'm stitching it on a 40 count ren and I'm using my February hand dye by Rolando floss pack. So um some wonderful humans recommended I do the border and the charcoal. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And then the other flosses are like hues of red and purple. Mm -hmm. uh, so the beautiful biomes is going to have nine sections, one for each biome on earth. Um, and the pattern is smaller than last year's natural world. So by stitching it on a 40 count, it's going to be almost the same size as my natural world. So I'm going to be able to frame them as twins, which will be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah this border is... A lot of fun to do those little curly Q things um, and will probably take less time to do the full border than one month's release of the border on the corners in the natural world. So we say that with love, Christy. We love the patterns. That border though was. I do love it. I think it looks stunning. Yeah. But it's a lot of stitching. This that, one, that one's good. That one, that one was a lot of fun. Like this better. is this is the other side, right? Like this is where I will bring down my other corner. Oh yeah, that's not very big at all. Not, it's not very big at all on this fabric. So yeah, so that was my only other start that I did not finish this month. And even if I'd worked on only that, it would have been impossible to finish because there will be nine months of drops. Yeah, which I'm very excited for. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for all the different sections, like the different yeah seeing how she interprets it that'll be good okay so then i worked on three other things this month that were already existing so i did get out my no time like the present and i've been working on february march together but there are a lot of stitches in these drops i have zero zero ability to keep up with this if i want to work on anything else in a month um so i will just plog plog plod plod away at it um until it's done and if it gets done this year great if not also great because it won't go bad um this is a 20 count sandstone color and cotton fabric and then the flosses are from my grandmother's stash there was enough of each of these two blue tones to do it together um they're like it's a little bit thinner than dmc um, so part of me regrets not doing the dark in two strands, but also when I look at it on here and it's not five inches from my face while I'm working on it, you can't really tell um, that that coverage is not as coveragey as I would have liked. So it will probably look just fine when it is done and I'm not working on it. Close. Yeah, I have to keep reminding myself that I'm not going to be obsessing over things as much when they're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, like you're never gonna look at it this close again then I picked this up I've worked on just this morning the wheel of fortune here and putting in this I can't remember how far I was I only worked on it one other day since the last time we filmed but this is my arcana cell from uncanny kari she has started filling in 
um, these, and as I suspected, they are related to the four suits, but she is doing them in black with, um, like the designs are not stitched. And so I need to decide what I wanna do. I'm not sure if I have enough purple for that many stitches left. Um, mm -hmm. So I will probably do them in black and then just fill in what she has empty with the purple to keep it on theme. Um, yeah. I should though, I if I dig through my hand up by Rolanda, I might have a similar enough purple that you might not notice the difference because there's, yeah, I've been it's... I've been in the hand dive Rolanda Floss of the Month Club for a very long time now, and sometimes you get colors that do look like other colors. I should I should poke in there? But I love this. I do need to spend some quality time with it because I would like to finish it relatively soon. Yeah. Like I think awesome. I think this weekend's drop might be the last one. I don't know. I've been paying that much close attention because I haven't been stitching it, but. Unless she has something else planned for it. I think that's it, which is great. Mm -hmm. And I can just download the last one and have the whole chart. Yeah. And then my last whip, which I really wish I had my board for, but I don't. This is going to be kind of, I don't want to hold it by the top, but is my Namarie tapestry. But you, did you not work on yours last weekend? You worked on no. it. I tried to, I was trying to finish my squid. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now I remember. So I am officially, by my count, because I don't count stitches, two thirds of the way done, because I'm done six of nine pages. Um, so I got uh, the snack dragons down the sides done. I have one row of text left to do, um, borders, and then the swans, more, mm -hmm. more snack dragons down at the bottom. But I am really loving this. I love how my colors have come out. Um, yeah. In front of me, so you don't get the background. You can't see the whole thing, but it is so great i did not make it to mortar on time but thankfully kim did us a solid and she like trudged in there and threw that ring in so the rest of us can continue on our way without any fear of sauron taking over the world um and we'll just continue to work on our pieces until they are done um it's been a lot of fun um seeing everybody's come to life um i've seen one other finish it's ginkgo and ginkgo on instagram I forget it's a that Instagram account is run by two sisters and I forget which which of them was stitching mm. that project um but if you don't follow them a go follow them because they do beautiful work and b go check out both their finish and Kim crafty teacher DIY's finish of the chart because they both are fantastic and amazing um mm -hmm. I'd tell you to look at the hashtags but hashtags don't work anymore on Instagram so better just to go to people's accounts and check them out yeah. oh those are the things that I worked on this month, which, you know, now feels like a lot. So, I think I say that every time we film. I didn't yeah. work on very much. Oh, wow. Look, look at that all in a row, how much I did. Good job. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what did I work on? So I worked on my Yelda to Nauru's. So the final drop came out. This is what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Um, and I finished one band um i so i started this this is the alternate first band mm -hmm. um which was like the winter scene there there we go it's very light that's okay mm -hmm. um and then i can because i don't like doing boxes when i don't know for sure because then it, it's just so much counting whereas i can just stitch stitch stitch, stitch until i get like over here somewhere and then start paying attention um, so I was like, at least let me finish a, a band and then I'll know exactly how far across to go. And then I did some more of these guys and I did some more down here as well. So, so you've put in the alternate band, but then the one right under it is the second band, right? Like yeah. you're still doing that one? Okay. Yeah. So this is the one where there's like a big fire yeah. and all the people dancing. And so I'm going to do the rest of this border in this purple gray color. And then I'm gonna do this part in like a sulky cause I'm doing some of the inside bands in sulky and then some of the, the yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm whatever, I'll, I'll do it. with your heart. Yeah, exactly. And then I might grab another color for another part, who knows? Yeah, I yeah. should definitely pull mine out um, and I should bring it. It is like the border work is 
those those four I don't know they look like hearts to me kind of mm -hmm. but the border pieces they're fairly straightforward to stitch but there's a lot more stitches in them than you think they are, there is so each of them takes a bit of time but that could be good stitch yeah. not stitching because I do get into a bit of a rhythm yeah they're I think right I think like I, I, yeah and I feel so like oh I finished a whole thing of these and then I'm like I have only like a hundred more to go yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um but they are fun to do and then once you kind of like you know exactly where to put the next stitch you're like just like filling it in kind of so yeah um and I also worked on my Highland Coos I worked on this one on the uh I think on the airplane um for a little bit and I'm almost done one whole cow looks great needs, needs a face but yeah so this one I feel like I could easily finish this, but it's one that I really only work on when I'm like traveling. So that's, that's it's okay to have a travel piece that lingers. it's really easy to just pick up and grab when I want to work on something and I don't know where I'm gonna be or what I'm gonna be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I tried to do monogamous uh, march, monochromatic march. And I was going to work on my morbs, which I know you guys have seen because so many people have finished it, but I'll, I'll show the, the finish. Keith. So this is Got the Morbs. This is by Jacob DeGraff at Modern Trope Embroidery. And it looks so good. And there's so many awesome finishes of it. Amy has a great finish. Megan has a great finish. That one sits in my office and people ask about it. So, Yeah, so I was about halfway done this. I think I was like here. So I did all of this and I did this candle and this M, the start of this M. I worked on this for like two days and then we went on our trip and then I didn't get it back out because I really needed to finish my, my squid when I got home. So, who knows when this one will, maybe I'll, Maybe I'll do monogamous monochromatic May as well. Oh, yeah, May as well. And then one of my um, uh, whip goes for this month was um, full coverage. So it's going to do 10 hours on a full coverage piece. So I did 10 hours on this dimensions kit. So I did, I had basically this top, this blue and a little bit of this pink flower. So I did all of that. Wow. So good. So let's look at that one as well. This is going to look like this when it's done. So, oh, I need info. Wants us to know the metadata. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's. I have all these shells down here and then all of this sand. Mm -hmm. That will take quite a while. But the water yeah, is almost stitching so much back. There's a lot of back stitching and I haven't done any back stitching on, on autumn and I've only done part of the back stitching for for spring. They all have that same border that winter has, right? Yeah. And I actually took out I had finished it, but I took it out because it was like a long strand mm -hmm. and it was like getting caught on my frame. So just put this back in afterwards but yeah so I have some more flowers down here and then all those shells but the water is almost completely done then is the is the sand one color or do you have it's two colors but it's half stitches okay so it'll go pretty good and so is the water the water is all half stitches oh I can see now yeah yeah, yeah. nice I'm so just go pretty quick I should pull out my dimensions. I should pull out everything. I should. I should. I should not. It is a hobby. Do what do what brings you joy, Megan. Do whatever you want. And then my last one that I have been working on was also with Go Call, which was 10 hours on any witchy stitcher project. And I am almost done. Queer goth. So, so when I started, I basically had part of this queue and all of this was done and the rainbow was done so all of these letters all of this purple and then all i have left is there's a cloud here a cloud here and then there's some dark pink 
on the bottom of those letters because yeah, you're you're at the very bottom right so yeah, this is the bottom yeah. this is the end of the pattern are you just going to keep working on that one until you're done at this point i think i can easily finish it today in there like an hour probably so, yeah and then i will have a finish Yay. i will have one fewer witchy stitcher i think i have like five whips from her right now <laughs> so. the thing is too many and okay so problem. while we are on the witchy stitcher topic I'm going to have to stitch the next tarot card immediately, I think. Mm, the new one that just came out on it. Yeah. She hasn't released it yet. It's just, just teasing us. But it's not awesome. Yeah, it's going to be good. No, they're all so good. world. Everything aside. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, I have so much of this fabric left. Like this is, this is a tiny little piece. And my margin is like, I think... Mm -hmm like the end of it right here um so i'm gonna put i think some of those tarot cards on this because this is such a good background for that yeah it is right? it's nice and dark but it's not black it's dark but it's not that hard to stitch on it's actually pretty pretty easy so oh speaking of this fabric it is a one-of-a-kind um 16 count from roxy bosco that I bought. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to get some more of those one of a kinds because that's that's what this is on too is one of those one of a kinds. Yeah, they're all so good. Like, I just Carrie makes amazing and floss. Yeah, and that was it. That was all my whips. Oh, good job, us. Good job. Did you buy anything this month? I did buy some things. I did already talk about. I bought the pirate Quaker, um, and I bought the floss to go with it. So. I did some, well, some, some sleuthing, I guess, because I was like, oh, I wonder if I can get the uh, cottage garden threads to go with this pirate Quaker. I'll look at what they are and then I'll see. And they didn't have individual threads available. So I bought an, I got an order from Kim at Designs and they do sell cottage garden, but they didn't have them, like, they didn't have the ones that I needed individually. But then I looked at the Hearts for Pam kit and four of the five colors that you need for the Pirate Quaker are in this kit. And I was like, I will just buy this thread pack then. So it comes with all these threads. So I've already taken out the ones that I needed for my Pirate Quaker, but I still have it's all a these. Good palette too. I, I haven't even started anything from that yet. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I need it. I need it. I need it. <laughs> it's just. And I was like, well, since I'm buying this, I might as well buy some of the Hearts for Pam uh, patterns, or at least I'll at least look at them and see if I like any of them. And I really like this one. This is from the Blue Owl. I love this cockatoo the most. So fantastic. This bat, like, it's such a good pattern. When will I stitch it? Who knows? That's none of my business. And then since. I was just, you know, on the website browsing as one does. I also had to buy this. This is from Fox and Rabbit. This is called Watermelon Ice and it is beautiful. It's a 36 count, which is a little out of my comfort zone, but, and I looked for it in a different size. I was like, if they have it in like a 32, that would be perfect. They did not. And I was like, no, I need it anyway. So it's, it's light, right? So you should be, you should be okay. Get nice I and tight like on your frame. Use a good light. You'll be fine. I mean, I've stitched on 40 count. I just I just know that I don't like it. <laughs> so this might be okay. It's like, it's not too bad, but I just, I love this color so much. So 36 is my sweet spot right now. 36 and 18. Interesting. See, I love 18, but for like linen, I'm like, okay, it's, you know, it's something I have to focus on. I like a little that bit you more. can get away with one thread for the most part yeah right nice. um but it's just a little bit easier on the eyes especially after after work stitching mm -hmm. yeah it's not like midday stitching and then they also sent me this nice little freebie from Penny my favorite provider of freebies i have so many from her um That's but, yeah. um speaking of tiny modernist are you on her patreon no it's She's like a doing lot. a stitch along why is everybody so mean to me i because i know that she's gonna release her stuff eventually 
I was like, I I cannot. I cannot with another Patreon. It's it's already too much. So no. But yeah, I've heard that it's really good. It is. Maybe someday. Maybe someday when I have more money and no responsibilities. Can you tell me when oh, that's I also bought pattern. I forgot I also got another pattern. Um when I bought my beautiful biomes. Um mm. I bought another one from Christy, which I didn't even realize at the time was one of the hearts for Pam. Oh, um, her heart for Pam heart. I good. love her so much. Wild um, and hurt. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh, that looks so cool. And then I was looking at the pattern and I was like, wait, those aren't different colors. That's one color. I was like, how is what? And then I realized it was with the hearts for Pam thing. And then I was like, oh, I just bought that. How perfect. <laughs> so I can stitch that now. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Cause I, I think that's such a cool pattern. And I think that's all I bought. And then, oh, and then my, my other two styles that I have now joined. So this is kind of like taking us into plans, but um, bring them so, up. So be it. So, and I know that Megan is also doing another one of these. So I and I alone, and plus anyone else who's interested, is doing the Vampirum Sal. This is from- I Mal resisted this one. So it's based on the vampire bat and there's gonna be little creatures. I don't know. I don't know. I she's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. It's just everybody is releasing their salad at the same time. And the so the so a vampire bats. I love bats. I think they're adorable. But then also this color palette. Are you kidding me? I I was like I already have all of these colors because I use these all the time because these are some of my favorite colors. So purple and pink and yeah. very you know five skeins of black I was like okay let's calm down <laughs> but you know you do you do what you gotta do and you get and her designs are so good I love her designs it's They're just really cool. there's no doubt that it's gonna be beautiful oh perfect what I'm putting it on this is kiss from a rose by Kaylee at the sewing shop could not be more perfect for yeah. a vampire a vampire stitch along and it's it's bigger than it needs to be as well so i'll have some left over it's not a huge pattern but it's it's chunky and then i'm also doing and megan is also doing i don't know if there's any pictures in here did you find the picture no because instagram won't load for me but mm -hmm. So we're doing the Deadly Aquarium Sal from Lola Crow. This is what mine's gonna be on. So this is the same material that my um, my squid was on. This is Neptune's depth. Um, and then I also have all of my flosses. Mm. Fun. Yeah, there you go. You sort of see. That little and there was a little puffer fish. Shoot. And these are both starting in April. So. Mm -hmm. Do I need another style in my life? No. Am I gonna do it anyway? Yeah. Am I gonna stitch on it for like a couple of months and then abandon it for a year? Yeah, probably. But you'll but have a pattern at the fabric. Is that the point? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm also gonna do the Deadly Aquarium style. I bought it because I was like, oh, I can just stitch the little creatures that I like. And then she released that little snippet of the puffer fish. And I'm like, I'm going to have to do the th whole thing, aren't I? And Megan was like, yeah. Is there going to be any that you don't like? Like, <laughs> Well, but like with the whole frame and thing, that's what I I don't. We'll see. I don't, I don't know, know what the frame looks like, but yeah. I'm definitely not going to stitch the whole frame before I start anything else because I've never done that for any style I've ever done. So release, release the frame all you want. It's... To me, it's just like a starting point. There's not, yeah, <laughs> like I'm not gonna finish the frame, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for both of them. Um, I bought, so I'm doing that. I'm also doing femurs and fungi, which I think we talked about last time, mm -hmm. which also the frame comes out this month because for frames, it's like a little gallery. Oh yeah, it's like a little, yeah, it's like a gallery. Bones and mushrooms, which honestly, and that one is uh, fine frog stitching. So if you are into bones and mushrooms, I highly recommend. 
she sent a little sneak peek on her newsletter um and it is a skull with pretty teeth i think it's a i think it's a oh, cute. blind skull but we'll see what the whole thing is um i'm just basing that on my experience with bones and my interpretation of a cross stitch bone so we'll see though um i'm really excited i also bought um and megan also bought this uh today mm -hmm. is march 31st which we don't do a very good job of saying but it is the trans day of visibility um in which we um as as people who love people celebrate um trans folks and uh you know get out there and vocally support them however that should be a 365 day a year activity right like let's be clear it's not just one day mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, who we all know and love, our Stitch Dad, is or has, is selling uh, this pattern only today, March 31st. So this should get up before the end of the day. But if you watch it tomorrow on April 1st or any point after that, it will not be for sale anymore. So I hope that you were on your game and got it today. Um, but uh, this new pattern called Know Thyself, and I'm sorry, I'm having technical difficulties with Instagram, so I can't get a bigger picture. Um, this imagery came to D in a dream and they charted it up and it's fucking beautiful. And I will not apologize for using that word because what other adjective do we have? Um, it is also huge. It's like, what it doesn't say on there. It's, it's very, very large. Um, and I want to give it proper, proper treatment. I want to find the best fabric most appropriate fabric to stitch it on um, and probably pick out some over dyed flosses um, and just make it gorgeous. Um, and I love it. So I bought that. Um, 85 other people have bought it as the time that I loaded this. Um, yeah, yeah, but I'm not starting it today. But I did decide that for today I can start Flowers for Sylvia, which is also a pattern from D, um, which was released last June for um, Pride Month. Uh, Sylvia Rivera is a trans activist. Um, and like, look at this flower pot. So beautiful. So I bought this instantly as well when it came out, but I never started it. So I will start yeah. this one. Um, Same here. It feels more manageable uh, for me today. Plus, um, I will not muck with the colors. Otherwise, that rose will not come out perfectly. So I need to do that in the colors that decharted it. Um, but yeah, get on the Trans Day of Visibility chart because when it's gone, it's gone. Um, also, you will be supporting a member of our community in uh, pursuing gender affirming care, which is super important for trans people. Um, all gender affirming care um, needs to be readily accessible and it's not. Um, so D has chosen to go privately. They talk about it in their last floss tube if you want to know more um but let's let's support d in in getting getting surgery that is necessary so that d feels like d yeah. um i'm gonna stitch on my merman today yeah. um, and merman a, uh he has his uh cup surgery scars there mm -hmm. And yeah, I always think about D when I stitch on this. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to stitch on this a little bit today after I finish that. And then I also have a bunch of my statements that I could start. Um, yes. I think it's already finished all hers, but I'm. I should, I should FFO my most recent one. Yeah. Which. I really want to skip to the end and stitch this one because I love those lines. There's no, you, there's no order. You yeah. could do that one first. It's okay. It's not like I'm finishing them like as one piece anyway. Like they're going to be individual. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You're yeah. Fine. I love, I love okay. them. You can skip to the end. You're allowed. Not that I don't like the other ones. Mm -hmm. I just, I love those lines. Um, but yeah. Also, because today is a good day to support trans folks. If you've been eyeing up my beautiful mug with what? this fat bunny or whatever you want to call it on it. This is by an artist who on Instagram is Northern Ghost. Um, his name is Leo. He is an indigenous trans artist here in Canada and he makes the most beautiful pottery. 
I have four now and I will I will buy more they like they're just they're beautiful the one that I have at work everybody when I go and get coffee always tells me how pretty it is so I'm like mm -hmm. oh you can get your own here's where you go buy it because there is nothing like supporting people by uh, giving them that visibility of like who they are and where you can go buy your own if people like your stuff right so um, I also got my fabric of the month and bag of the month from Kaylee, your friend of mine at the sewing shop. So this is brick in the wall. Oh, that's good. Um, an 18 count Ada, because that's what I get. It's so good. I need to find the most perfect, but like just the little details, like the grunge on the bricks. Oh, so good. I messaged Kaylee when I got this and I was like, you are killing me. Um, it is perfect. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to find something graffiti-esque to put on that. Um, when? Who knows? But I did instantly start looking up the patterns. And I got this beautiful bag. Ah! Which I'm going to keep my beautiful biomes in because it's got critters on yeah. it. I already have my floss in there. Cool. Um, if you do not yet have a Kaylee bag, I cannot recommend them more than I already do. They are the perfect size. They fit so much more than you think you could possibly fit in one cross stitch bag. Um, I just love them. And mm -hmm. I did not pre-order anything for Stitch North because I don't- I'm got, gonna browse though. I don't got my act together to do that, but I'm very excited to shop the wares in person. As well, me as well. Do you have I, any other plans for April? Plans for April. Um, I mean, just keep working on the things I've been working on. Um, start, start new things. Probably finish some new things. Um, I do want to keep plugging away on the Nama, my tapestry, Namarie. There we go. Thank you. Um, so that I can get that done relatively soon. Um, I would like to work on uh, my no time like the present more and get more on that. I won't say caught up, but if I don't work on it, it will never get done. Um, I will start those new sales. And yeah, and then I will figure out what I'm going to bring to Stitch North because that will be part of April as well. Yeah. Ah. No, it's so sad. Right? Like the next time you will see us, we will probably do this together. Short distance stitchers. Once short again. distance stitchers. Our, you know, what's annual short distance stitchers episode. <laughs> we might do another one in uh, September. Oh, yeah. With a special guest star. A special guest star. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we could, do it at, we could do it at her house <laughs> before we can... <laughs> just invite ourselves over. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so like I said, my I'm gonna work on uh Trans Merman today, and yeah, I mean, maybe I'll finish it. Who knows? Um, I'm going to work on biomes as my newest whip for my whip go call my other whip go call for the month of april was any sal <laughs> of which i have several <laughs> so whichever one choice on that one literally any anything i grab i could just close my eyes and grab something and it's probably a sal um and then for my quirky quakers so one of the calls was a small animal so i'm gonna do the hedgehog so cute cute and there's there's not a lot of stitches in that little guy it's uh, so i'm debating if i'm gonna do it monochrome like how it's charted or if i'm gonna have fun with it i'll probably have fun with it let's be real um i haven't um uh pitted that one up yet though because i think i'm gonna do those at stitch north as well because it's really easy to do quakers at stitch yeah north. and then you get finishes right and then everybody cheers for you exactly um and then my other one was something green so i'm gonna do the christmas tree nice. i haven't done any of the christmas ones 
yet so and i think i have all the burning needles for this i know i have the tree color and even if you don't have the specific ones you probably have ones that are close enough that you can sell very similar ones i'm sure i'll figure something out um yeah so again i haven't kitted up those but i will probably bring them to stitch north and then i'm going to bring my pirate quaker to stitch north and that's probably going to be it unless i bring the trans statements as well because also so you're like, doing those ones on the blue eight up right blue 18 count yeah. yeah so those are easy to stitch right and they're pretty small fun not a lot of colors yeah we'll see yeah it'll be it'll be great who knows because okay. i don't want to and then i'm probably will end up starting a bunch of stuff and buying a bunch of stuff and just you know pulling down the multitude of rabbit holes plans only get you so far right. <laughs> um i think yeah i think that's it awesome okay this was a short episode we didn't buy that much stuff so i yeah one little market shop yeah we just trying to like i really tried to shop my stash for those cells and for fish and ships which i also might start um i'm doing it completely in dmc with fabric that i dyed myself so yeah there's i'm really trying to cut down on my oh i want to start this new thing i have to buy a million stuff for it because i already well, then also buy other stuff because nothing can travel alone and then the other stuff builds up but you still buy more stuff i have that problem too so okay I mean, it's a good problem to have, but it's, it does tend to get a little, it's a little much, right? It can be overwhelming. Yeah. All right. So the next time we see you, we'll be doing a post-stitch North video. In person together. It's so, be so good. Awesome. People, we're going to meet, we're going to meet so many new friends at Stitch North this year. Yeah, just so many people are coming. Who's going to be there and Nuri is going to be there. Mm -hmm. So exciting. All right. Well, hopefully we'll get this up before the end of the day. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. All right. Bye. bye.